Amen. Amen. All right, let's welcome Danny and Debbie Brooks right now from, and I forgot the name of the Texas town, but we're going to welcome, can we just stand and give them a proper honor and welcome? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It's Llano, Texas. We're blessed to live in the most beautiful part of Texas. It's hill country, and it's, it's just gorgeous. We love where we are when we get to be there, which is not often. But you know what? The that was a whine on my part. <laughs> the best thing about where we live, though, is our little country family church. Cowboy church. Yes. Our pastor looks like Charlie Daniels. <laughs> He's a big old Texas boy. He plays bass, but he preaches God's word, and it's, it's one of the most real churches we've ever attended. I just love everybody in it. We're so blessed to be a part of that church. I was reading the Bible this morning, and in... Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 26 and 27 where God uh, takes the foolish things, the confound the wise, the weak, the confound the strong and the base things and the, to, to show people that he can do something from him that confounds people that think that if we ever think too highly of ourselves, we need to remember those verses. And uh, the other one that I call a even the playing field verses, when King David said, oh God, if you should mark iniquities, who could stand? There's, that's Psalms 130, I think, verse 6 or, or, or 2. So I'm going to start off with a psalm that I know I wrote it because I felt so discouraged and weak and uh, I just said, God, I know that you've forgiven me of this sin, but just because you've forgiven me, I know I ain't going to be perfect from here on in either. And I'll attest to that. I said, but you could please fence me in so I don't drift too far out to make a jerk of myself.
too many times before when you see me wander lord fence me oh fence me lord you say call i will answer lord i'm calling to you now please 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 when you see me wander fence here today and I know if it wasn't for the prayers of my mom and my dad but it's my mom that I remember the most because dad worked around the clock mom was always at home feeding us and getting us ready for school and because of my dad uh, always being out on the road mom was the uh, chief police the house. My dad was brought in for the heavier lifting when it was called for. <laughs> Guess you saw a lot of your dad. No, only, <laughs> only, a, only a couple of times. <laughs> this goes out to you moms and you know my mom and dad prayed for me have you got the Nebo on? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. I, I didn't see any flashing it's lights. It's pointed at you right now. Okay. Uh, You're on. All right. My mom prayed and prayed and prayed. And I uh, remember one night she caught me coming upstairs, and I was in an altered state. And it was dark, and out of nowhere, a hand reached out and twisted my ear and uh, not only twisted my ear she had me standing on my tippy toes and she shook my head and said you're not fooling anybody <laughs> you're not flying right I'll tell you when you're in an altered state you sense things, and I felt the pain from that ear being pulled. That's why I have long hair today, because this ear's an inch longer than my other ear. You're, yeah. li you're lying in church, no less. That, that's the ticket. <laughs> but she told me that I was going to walk down that righteous road one day because Dad and I and the church are praying for you. Every time she did that, oh, I wish you did stop praying. <laughs> Shouted under the wind of the Almighty. 
mighty God today. Have the Lord have mercy on me. Mama pray. Oh, she prayed. Mama pray. Mama pray. Mama pray. Mama pray. I can hear a band of angels joining in. I can see a face of tears in the line. Watch the blood from your hand. There's a day of rock 
awakening fast coming around Where we you stand when it all comes The day of reckoning is coming around. Where will you stand when it all comes down? Where will you stand when it all comes down? When it all comes down, where will you stand? song I wrote when I got out of rehab and I used to wake up with the blue funks. It was still in my um, crucial 
period of coming to grips with being uh, acquainted with the new drug of sobriety. And uh, you'd wake up some mornings and you, your mind just wasn't thinking as sharp and, and right. And sometimes it's a bit frightening because you, you wonder why you're feeling this way. And um, I remember waking up one morning and I felt that way and I just said, I didn't even think of what I said. It just came out. Job said you can say it in the book of Job, one of his um, friends that was tormenting him <laughs> said something quite wise, even though he, he was off base on a lot of other stuff. He said, you can say a thing and declare a thing, and it's established. And I just, out of blue, said, I ain't singing no sad song today. And, and it was like I was saying, I'm going to make the best of today. I'm not going to let these crippling thoughts cripple me. Picked up my guitar, and God just gave me that song. I'm going to do one more song on this guitar. And um, for the moment, anyway. This is called All God's Children. The, the, the whole title is All God's Children Gotta Cry Sometimes. And this was based on a true story back home before I got I came clean and Debbie got me into rehab. I used to play in this uh, rock biker bar called the Queensbury Arms Hotel. And there was a young lady that everybody just adored as their own sister. And uh, everybody watched out for her. She always had a smile and a joke, knew everybody by name. I got there early one night to set up my stuff and went to the bar to get my favorite libation. There was nobody there, but I heard a bit of noise, so I walked up the long bar. The office door was cracked open a bit, and I looked in, and there was this normally effervescent, bubbling over personality just weeping into her hands. I was stunned. She sensed somebody there, started cleaning up and stood up and I skedaddled back down the bar and she came out, hey Danny, how are you? And it just kind of freaked me out and I, I wanted to say something to her but I didn't, I, I wrote it in the, in the song. <laughs> You're gonna do 
the same thing to the somebody up the line. Oh, 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 His is a sweet guitar. When he gets it fixed, he'll be quite happy with it. He's going to oh, play okay. it again. He's just trying to find a spot for it. It won't fit in the car, so don't worry. <laughs> well, unless, of course, he leaves one here. guy in Nashville and his wife was dying of cancer and he was a bandit and he knew he was living wrong and uh, she went to mass every Sunday in the middle of the week and she was kind of an evangelical Catholic and he said Dan he said it should be me not her he said, no more halfway to heaven for me. And uh, he said, can you write me a song about that? And I said, yes, I think I can. Can you have it ready for tomorrow morning? <laughs> I said, I think I can. And uh, challenge accepted. My uh, sponsor who brought me into Texas we're going to our hotel room that night. 
He said, Danny, you, you got his hopes up. He's thinking of you showing up tomorrow with that song. And I said, well, if I have to stay up all night, I'm going to have it ready. He said, well, I hope you do. And that's what I came up with. an ending you never done like that before thank you well it's 11 <laughs> I remember
remember on in Mount Dennis where I was mostly raised as a, a kid and uh, we used to go to the Pentecostal Holiness Church just up the street but it was Mrs. Mann on Rutherford Avenue and she had a Bible club and it was every Tuesday night and she always had treats and at the end of the class everybody got a treat they were always good treats and I know a lot of people myself included <laughs> came to get that treat <laughs> But she had a fun way of teaching Bible stories. And I know looking back now, it had impact on my life. And it certainly had impact on when they did a pre-sentence report when I was in the courtroom. Uh, this lady spoke very highly of me, the judge. His name was uh, Clooney, but they called him Rosemary Clooney because he was known to cry sending people to prison. And he read the pre-sentence, he said, what I'm reading here and what I'm looking at and reading this, what you did, I, I can't believe it. But uh, Mrs. Mann's pre help on the pre-sentence report helped me avoid penitentiary, I know that. So I'm glad to see that these two young people have been enthusiastically taught, and it looks like they're going to be enthusiastically taught again by their new teacher. He's going to have to grow a handlebar mustache, though. He had that laugh down way too good. <laughs> You cannot run yourself. If 
baby, make somebody a promise. Make sure it's heartfelt. Don't you lie to nobody, especially yourself. If you hit rock bottom, people call around for help. I know I can get a witness to everything I've just said. I find my peace of mind, like old Johnny boy, walking the line. Keep my head down in the wind. I press on the best I can. on Beale Street many years ago. I had my head down, eyes closed, working real hard to keep the groove alive, thinking nobody was paying me no mind. At the end of my show, a gentleman came walking up to me. His name was Rusty McFarlane. He said, Danny boy, I like what you're putting down. I got friends of mine on Music Row that'll take you around the whole wide world. Happens all the time, folks, when least expecting, fate comes tumbling right on in. And you better be ready. You might be a cab driver, a truck driver, a lady waiting on tables. You might be a preacher man, God be with you. You might be a lady of the evening, God bless you. You might be a politician, God help you. No matter who you are, no matter where you are, no matter what you're doing, you always got to show up and give it your best, day in and day out. As long as you got breath in you, you got dreams to realize. It don't matter how old you are, it's never too late to start, never too late to come into the kingdom either.
in this world leaves me battle blue and bruised. Carry me, carry me. Every heartache is a gift with wisdom to impart. When I cast away all of my stones, carry me, carry me, carry me. Thank you.
This is a song Debbie I wrote for Debbie when we got I got out of rehab. without ending
I'll have to call back. This world, it ain't getting no better. The evidence is everywhere. That we do to one another without your Lord I'd be running scared I've never seen more clearly sweat I fall down before me Please. 
Show me things I never knew before When I'm down on my knees I can move a mountain in trouble When I'm down on my knees Show me things I never knew before Everything's all right when I'm talking to Jesus When I'm down on my knees You show us great and mighty things that we never knew before you said you never leave us nor forsake us You know everything about us, Lord The number of the hairs on our head You've invited us to bring our petitions to you and if we know that you hear us, we have the petitions of that which we ask for. King David said, it's too high. I can't attain it. I can't understand your ways, Lord. But I believe. And I want to thank you, Lord, for reaching down here today. Touching each and every one of us. You know all our hidden pains, secret sorrows, hidden shame. Bring healing in this house today. Oh, Lord, when I'm down on my knees. Oh, when I'm down on my knees. Mm, when I'm down on my knees. God bless. It's only four minutes over. You, you know won't what? perish. Before, oh, he's not done. I want done. to do one more song. It's called Climb That Mountain. Amen. This is a new one, and it's... Um, yeah. We all have mountains to climb. This song is my mountain. But we're to, it's like, don't look at the problem. Look at the problem solver. Amen. Don't look how big the mountain is. Look to the one who's going to help you climb it. Amen. Because with, all, with God, all things are possible. The enemy would have us looking at the problem and dwelling how difficult it is. God merely says, call unto me. He'll be with us. He wants to be with us. He wants to hear from us, no matter what state of mind we're in, no matter what, where we are in our lives. I remember once uh, my dad telling me that God was no respecter of persons. And when I first started having an ongoing dialogue with God, I was really messed up from substance abuse. But you know what? God allowed that, that that started the dialogue and that dialogue kept me talking to him when I was in jail I fell back when I called out to God he was always there he ne I can look back now when I look back sometimes I can feel ashamed even though I know I'm forgiven I'm saved I know I'm going to heaven I'm probably one of the worst Christians out there I'm not going to heaven because I'm a good Christian I'm going to heaven because I stand on the Word of God. Amen. I believe Christ is my Savior. Amen. He forgave me. He died on the cross for me, and He's coming for us again. That's, and he, he died for all of our sins. So that's why I'm going to heaven, and I'm confident in the Word of God. Amen. God cannot lie. And He told us beforehand His promise of eternal life. So um, when I wrote the song... And we're still climbing some mountains, but this song, I know that God is with me through it all. And I can, I can rest on that. I mean, I, I still believe it. We're, we're, we're to pray to God and, and expect him to act. But while we're expecting, like Ecclesiastes, I think it's 5, 8. It says, a dream comes through much activity. And to me, that means 
dream with your sleeves rolled up. In other words, God's not a cosmic bellboy. Yes, he wants us to call on him and ask him things, but we gotta be willing to work along with it to help make that dream become a reality. Praying, 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 and acting on that prayer, moving forward, moving forward, and go out on the limb of faith even if it seems stupid or nonsensical. I was uh, sharing with my brother Vincent just before this tour when, when my, my, I had a vein in my liver burst and I almost bled out. And the doc said it was from my prodigal living of many years ago that my liver developed varicose veins and one of the veins bursted. I was bleeding for three days and then Debbie got me in the hospital and they said I got in the nick of time. And um, um, yeah, hallelujah, thank you Jesus. It's good to be alive. You lost track of where you were going with that. I did, but now I remember <laughs> it. My right foot, I couldn't walk on it. it. And I remember this happened when I had my quintuple heart bypass. And someone said that, the doc Kate. said, I've got a buildup of vitamin C, calcium. Calci buildup of calcium. And that's a form of gout. And he, he said he had it. And he said even a sheet going on his toes, it was unbearable. And I said, Debbie, I said, even though it hurts to put this boot on, I'm afraid that if someone accidentally just dropped something or, or just stepped and just nudged my toe, I'd break down and cry like a baby. That's how painful it was. So the night before we're on tour, my foot is like this. I'm saying, God, I know you're going to heal me, but I thought you would have done it by now. I, I, I'm going to go forward. We've we got to do this tour. That night I loaded the truck and you know, I was able to do it. We unloaded it so Debbie could clean the truck. Well, we both cleaned it. And then I loaded it up and I said, you know, Debbie, my foot don't feel worse for wear and I was able to load the truck. I think we're gonna be all right. As each day unfolded, and now I can bang it. I, I can, I gotta be careful. Sometimes I twist it a certain way and my big toe hurts, but I went on faith. It didn't make, make sense, but yeah, amen. You learn how to win 
when you know what it's like to fall. God help me to climb this mountain, carry my burdens too. I know I'm not a righteous man, but sinners need help too. I dream it with my sleep rolled up. I do it all I can. God help me to climb this mountain. Help me be a better man. God help me to climb this mountain. Carry my burdens too. I know I'm not a righteous man, but sinners need help too. Dreaming with my sleep rolled up, I do it all I can. Lord, help me to climb this mountain, help me be a better man. Help me to climb this mountain, help me be a better man. Thank you very much. God bless y'all.